Welcome to this two-minute video on deep learning with MicroStrategy and R, with a special shout out to those of you who attended my talk at last fall's Hollywood IT Summit, where I demoed the off-the-shelf R script for sentiment analysis to gain insight about the Facebook comments made by key influencers. Today, we'll take text analysis to the next level, predictive analytics. We'll use the new MicroStrategy off-the-shelf R script for deep learning to predict movie reviews for their positive or negative sentiment. We'll start by using my favorite deep learning text that happens to include several deep learning examples that classify movie reviews. Following the recipe provided, let's use this deep learning model as a starting point. Copy and paste the model into the metric creator tool and it becomes our first deep learning challenger model. Next, let's create variations of this model. Use one hot encoding to treat each review as a bag of words. Specify the hyperparameters used to build the models. With a click of a button, the R script is updated to build 32 challengers, select the champion, and persist all the results for later scoring. Open the updated R script for execution in RStudio and let it run for a while while we monitor the results. A little over 30 minutes later, we have our results. Plus, all the predictive details are published into cubes for visualization in our MicroStrategy dossier. Our champion model has the best accuracy at over 88%. We can see details on all of the challengers. The worst challenger model accuracy is less than 72%. We can see the training histories of each model built, and we can easily filter to just show the top ranked ones. We can see how well our champion and all the challengers perform against the full IMDB movie review data set. Finally, let's give our champion deep learning model a try against the social media comments we analyzed for sentiment earlier. Let's add the scores from our champion deep learning model alongside the earlier results for comparison. We create a new metric and grab the score prediction metric expression from the metric creator tool. Of course it validates because it uses the same R script configured specifically for this use case. We add it to the grid and after a little formatting, we see that the on-the-fly predictions from our deep learning text classifier for movie reviews match the sentiment estimate for two out of the three of our Facebook post comments. Not too shabby considering Facebook comments are different in length and style from the full movie reviews we use to train our text classifier. This begs the question, can we do better? See the next video to find out.